What is going on guys? I am Miguel from EasyGym.com and today I want to bring a video talking about how dieting too quickly or losing fat or even cutting too quickly is going to make you lose muscle as opposed to make you look like you have more muscle or make your muscle more prevalent and that's pretty much all I'm going to discuss in this video. So what I mean by this is that if you start dropping your calories or you start lowering your macronutrients very suddenly after hitting a certain amount daily, you, you might actually start losing muscle. So generally when you want to lose weight or you want to diet or you want to cut as they call it um, you're going to lower your caloric intake uh, by about 100 to maybe 200 even 300 calories weekly which is an extreme amount to be cutting at such a quick rate and when you do that you you force your body to consume uh, tissues or nutrients in your body that it shouldn't be consuming in order to achieve its uh, nutritional goal for the day so the purpose of uh, having a proper diet or consuming a certain amount of macronutrients per day is to maintain your physique or make it grow or slightly make it uh, lose fat. So generally when a person is bulking, uh, if they want to go through a period where they're going to build fat, build a bigger body and then break it down and turn it into muscle after bulking and then start cutting, um, they're hitting a couple thousand calories a day over the average recommended daily limit for a average person and same goes for the macronutrients where they're probably even hitting double the amount of macronutrients the average person um, should consume. So when you diet or when a person diets in general after bulking or if they just want to lose fat or look more cut up all of a sudden what happens is if they start uh, cutting their calories or cutting their macronutrients too quickly meaning they drop maybe 100 to maybe 200 calories per week constantly dropping down 100 or 200 each week or dropping the macros by maybe 20 grams of each nutrient each per week that's a pretty drastic change for your body to get accustomed to over a short period of time now what happens is that your body's primary energy sources which are carbs um, they start to deplete and then what happens when carbs deplete uh, protein starts getting consumed for energy and then finally fat um, and if you don't know already uh, when you're dieting, generally you want to lower your carbs and lower your fat and kind of maintain your protein or even increase it just a little bit to get in a little more calories. But either way, you're not consuming the amount of nutrients you should be consuming if you're dieting. And what happens is, like I said, you start losing fat and you start losing weight and your face becomes emaciated, you start looking skinnier, which is the whole objective of cutting. Now what happens when you start dieting or cutting too quickly, I meaning dropping a bunch of calories, dropping a bunch of nutrients, your body doesn't consume the amount of nutrients it should and it's sort of shocked into not getting in those nutrients it was accustomed to getting. So what happens is your body starts consuming the nutrients that your body already has. So like I said, you're dropping your fats and you're dropping your carbs and when you diet, you lose fat. So your body's breaking down the fat in order to use it as energy. Now the body's all about efficiency and maintaining that efficiency and keeping on running, things like that. So it needs a lot of energy. Now if you start to deplete it and remove energy from it, what happens is it starts finding new ways to create energy or have its own energy source. So your muscles are like vastly made up of proteins and protein chains and amino acids and things like that, aside from water and oxygen and other uh, vitamins and minerals and things like that. But either way, you're you're low on carbs and you're low on fats in your body. So what happens is your body starts consuming proteins and the proteins in your body are found in your muscles. Now if you're not consuming a, um, an adequate amount of fats and carbs, uh, your body's gonna start consuming the proteins already in your body aside from the ones that you're consuming through your daily intake. So what happens, you start losing muscle when you start dieting at an extreme rate. So to avoid this or to avoid losing muscle for trying to lose weight, meaning trying to lose the fat and settle the muscle, diet more slowly. Now, you've probably heard the term slow bulking or even or slow cutting or slow leaning or slow dieting or things like that. And the whole objective is to burn the fat, uh, lose weight, and keep their muscle. Uh, this gives the body time to adjust and consume the certain amount of nutrients it needs. And it helps the body, you know, get accustomed to the decline in and uh, nutrients it's consuming. So, like I said, to avoid losing muscle when you're trying to lose fat, you have to diet really slow. If you're consuming maybe 3,000 calories a day because you're physically active, you're athletic, you're going to the gym, uh, 3,000 calories may be a good amount for you. Now, if you want to start losing weight and dieting and things like that, 
you're gonna maybe try to drop off 50 to 100 calories per week and going through a slow uh, diet or slow cut and this way you're gonna lose the fat like you want but you're gonna keep your muscle now if you start dropping maybe 200 calories a week or more uh, you are gonna start losing that uh, protein or muscle so I don't necessarily recommend counting your nutrients through calories I recommend counting it through macronutrients so your proteins fats and carbs um, but if you didn't know already, proteins, fats, and carbs, they each have a certain amount of calories each. So proteins and carbs, one gram of each has four calories, and then one gram of fat has nine calories. So you can see how lowering the fats um, sort of makes it obvious that you're going to drop the calories. But you know, when you add up the macronutrients, the proteins, fats, and carbs, uh, the amount you consume, it all adds up to a certain caloric amount. It can't go the other way where you're consuming 3,000 calories and you can instantly know how many macronutrients you're consuming. It's only one way where you're consuming a certain amount of macronutrients and you know that's how many calories you're consuming. And if you want to drop calories or lose weight or that kind of thing, then you can sort of tweak it from there and know what you're supposed to adjust and what you're supposed to lose in order to reach your goal. So that's pretty much it. I just want to say, um, if you're going to diet and you want to lose weight and burn fat and do things like that, then you have to do it pretty slow and take your time with it. If you start brushing it and you feel like doing it super quickly is going to get you the quickest results and you're going to feel even better you're gonna look better quicker, it's not really the right choice. You have to do it slow, gradually, over time, and you're gonna get the results you want, and you're not gonna lose muscle. So, if I haven't made it, haven't made it clear enough, um, if you diet too quickly, your body's gonna start eating up at your muscle, because it has a lot of protein in it, and it's, it's gonna start using that as an energy source. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you haven't seen my last video, in which I discussed how doing cardio on an empty stomach is essentially pointless, I um, have an annotation on screen, you can click to watch it, and I'll have it in the description below as well. Um, if you haven't checked out our website, ucgym.com, go ahead and do that, and then subscribe to our YouTube channel. Knowledge.